And you know, honestly, that's why it's taken so long is to just prove out the physics and go build the devices and make it go. But we believe it's the most reliable way that we can get to a million qubits and I can fit them on a chip that fits in the palm of your hand. That's just not something you can do another way. And that's why we stuck with it this long. Well, show us what it looks like if you can, and also talk to us about how much it costs. Yes, so this, uh, and I'll, <laughs> I'll try and hold this up here, but this is actually the Myron one chip that I have here. I'll try and get the glare off of that. Um, but this actually is the chip, and with the underlying technology, again, would allow me each qubit, which is the fundamental building block, you think about bits, you know, and bytes in, in, in the chip in your phone, this is qubits for a quantum computer. Each one fits in about one one hundredth of a millimeter. That's why we're able to figure out how we can get to a million of those on one chip that fits in the palm of your hand. Uh, it's a significant amount of work to, to pull it off. Like I said, we had to have the, the kind of new state of, of matter that we had to discover in order to make that work. Uh, you know, it's taken a long time for us to, to be able to go figure that out. But, you know, like I said, you know, now that we've got it, we're going to be able to get to big scale.